Good morning and happy Sunday. My name is Jillian Murray and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries here at Fredericksburg United Methodist Church and I am so thrilled to be introducing today's service to you. Today is Children's Sabbath. This is a day that is celebrated annually where we get to showcase the children of FUMC. Today's service will include readings, music, and sermons, all given and performed by the kids of our church. So our message today is Healing, God's First Aid Kit. And we'll be reading various scriptures which point to God's miraculous healing power and our ability to use our spiritual first aid kit to heal ourselves and others. And you'll be hearing more about that later in the service. So right now, let's check out some announcements. We'd love to get to know you. Please fill out our connection card on the online worship page. The family dinner is next Wednesday, October 13th. Email our family ministry director, Kim Carrier, to RSVP. The next grab and go or grab and stay dinner is on October 20th. Make your reservations on our website. Plus RSVP for the better health program called the Moses Dilemma, moving forward in an are we there yet world. Come and find out what living through, in, and with a pandemic can teach us and how to live your best life now instead of looking in reverse. FUMC's Fall Festival will be on October 24th, starting at 1230. There will be food and snacks, carnival games and prizes, pumpkin painting, and more. There will also be an art show in Cobbler Hall with an opening on Saturday evening, the 23rd. Any and all types of art from all ages. If you would like to have a display or a sales table at no cost, reserve your table at fumcva.org slash art show. We can't wait to see what you have, so invite a friend. Check out this video made by our very own youth, eighth grader Audrey Bodig. We are so blessed with talented and creative kids here at FUMC. Honor and Serve Sunday will be on November 7th. Honor our veterans and saints with a light lunch reception after worship and then attend a concert out on the green, weather permitting, by the gospel-inspired group King's Cadence at 1.30 p.m. 
serve by giving blood at our food dr or blood drive sponsored by Red Cross and the Women's Club of Fredericksburg. Register to give by emailing Pastor Mary at betterhealth at fumcva.org. Online communion will also be a part of today's worship service. Now let's ready our hearts and minds for worship with some powerful music. Please join me in the call to worship. What do you hope? We gather this morning with hopeful and listening hearts to hear the voices and dreams of children and to nurture the healing power within each of us. How can we help? We gather this morning with listening hearts to hear how we can help those who are hurting and be healers here and throughout the world. Why are we here? We gather this morning as God's people to worship God in confidence that God hears our hurts and hopes before they're even on our lips. We are here to be reminded of Jesus' healing power and to remind ourselves that we too are instruments of healing. Come, let us worship God on this children's Sabbath day. Come, God, come with and be with us, in us, beside us, and over us. Be as hand, hands upon us, be as warmth, warmness with us, and be as strongness beside, beside us. Please shape our lives for healing, for loving, and caring. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our, our Lord and our Savior, and our here. Amen.
Our first scripture comes from Psalm chapter 107, verses 20 and 21. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. As we come to our time of congregational prayer today, we come with the joy of children in ministry in our midst. Children speaking of the goodness of being a part of healing of the world around us. And certainly there are many needs. So as we come, we bring some of those needs before God today. Uh, we extend sympathy to the family of Howard Coleman in his passing this past week. Also to the family of Jim and Sue Kavina in the death of Jim's mother. And the family of Donna Oldham in the passing of her mother as well. In the hospital, we have Michael Keene. And at the time of this passing, we also have Georgia Slutter, who is Julia Burgess' mother in hospice care. Health concerns in our midst, Brian Brandt, Wayne Hedge, Lynn Verberg, Martha and Gordon Linkus, Stephen Dellinger, Rob McKinnon, Betty Drew, Carl Williams Jr., and Don Ingham. Uh, also, we just uh, lift up the many concerns of our world around us, uh, from the refugee crisis, oil spills, fires, uh, recovery from the floods and hurricanes, so much. And we come also with the joys in our hearts. So let us go to God in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning thankful for so much. Really, Lord, front and center, we are thankful for the children in our midst the ministries to and with the children of our church and community we celebrate today, as well as our extension into the world for all the missions and ministries that our church is a part of supporting globally that has great impacts on the lives of young children and youth. We give you thanks for their voices among us, for the inspirations they share with us, for the hope that we see not just for the future, but for the present age through their strong faith and witness. Lord, help all of us to be good mentors and examples to the generations that are following us, that your church might grow strong even in challenging times. We also pray, Lord, that you come near to all the children for those, Lord, that uh, we can name the needs in our community, but also for those that no one names their needs. Come near to the one that is hungry today, the one who is a refugee in a foreign land, for the one that is suffering from the ravages of natural disaster and other things that just go beyond our ability to even understand. But Lord, you understand. So embrace your children, Lord, with your grace, with your strength, with your healing power, and help us, Lord, as your people to have courage to stand for them, to advocate for them, to move alongside them as they seek to heal the world around us. And Lord, as we speak words of healing and hope, we pray, Lord, that you would just pour your spirit over all the needs that we have named today our brothers and sisters that are grieving the loss of dear loved ones, those that have, are, have or are walking the journey of healing and restoration now, come near to them. Be the strength that they need. Help us, Lord, to know where to pick up and to be your hands and feet in the midst of their challenges and situations. We thank you that you hear our prayer and Lord, just hear the prayers of our hearts as we name others before you that we just lift with concerns. Come near, Lord, to our community and needs that are right within proximity to the church door. And Lord, extend your grace outward into our great nation and to the world as we named all those concerns, Lord, ones of so many suffering near and far. Help us to be a part of large and small ways to be a healing of your people 
and ultimately of the nations. And Lord, we will turn and we will give you thanks and praise and honor for all the good that you are a part of or that you are calling us to do as we are part of healing, as our children speak words of healing today. We offer up these prayers, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it's our time in the service now to be reminded of our gifts, our tithes, and our offerings. And so we invite you now to consider your gifts. You can do that right at this moment by going to our webpage or going to your app, the webpage fumcva.org, and click on the Give button, and you'll see options there. You can do that directly. You can use your app, or you can go ahead and mail in your tither offering or drop it by the church. We thank you so much for the many ways that you support our ministry, including the ministry to the children in our midst today. Thank you, and God bless. is holding and in need of healing, we ask that you use these gifts to make a difference and to help this church and those around us. We give our money and our time because we love you and want to be more like Jesus, helping to find broken places that all need in fixing. Take all offerings and make them yours in Jesus' name, amen. Good morning again. I am so pleased to be able to introduce the message portion of our service. Each year, our fifth graders are invited to give a short sermon based on our theme verse and questions that will prompt their writing. I'm thrilled that six fifth graders eagerly accepted and jumped at the opportunity, three of which you'll be hearing today. Our theme this year is Healing, God's First Aid Kit. So much of our discussion over the last 18 months, whether around the dinner table or at work, has been centered around illness, around vaccines, masks, tests, quarantining. It's been exhausting, and I assure you that is not what today's message is about. But it did get me thinking and raising questions like, when we are hurt, how do we heal? When, what is broken in this world and in need of mending? How can God restore us back to health when we're sad, 
anxious, or struggling with grief? How do we use the spiritual toolkit that God gives us to help heal others and our community? These questions were asked of our fifth graders, and their answers are, well, quite frankly, better than I could come up with. Our theme verse comes from the book of Jeremiah. It's chapter 17, verse 14, and it states, Heal me, Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are the one I praise. This simple yet profound verse perfectly exemplifies the prophet Jeremiah's faithful and unrelenting devotion to God. Jeremiah knows and declares succinctly in this verse that only God can heal and save. In the book of Psalms, chapter 107, we heard that David wrote a hymn of thanksgiving, praising God for his restorative power, for his wonderful works, and for showing mercy on the Israelites by healing them and for forgiving them their transgressions. Of course, we couldn't talk about healing without pointing to the amazing miracle work of Jesus. We heard in the Gospel of Matthew that Jesus healed. He went out into the towns and the synagogues. He taught and healed, and he showed compassion. While we are unable to perform miracles, we hear these amazing accounts of Jesus' healing power, and we are reminded that God uses them as examples of how we can also be instruments of healing. One of the best things about reading Jesus' miracle work is that Jesus not only healed people's physical illnesses, but he also talked to them, related to them, met them in their pain and brokenness, and redeemed them with his love. We can do that. Let's be workers in the field. Let's find ways to fix what's broken. We can find true healing, emotional, spiritual, physical, with the help of God and of one another. I am so happy to be introducing today's speakers, Lane Eagleton, Maddie Jones, and Olivia Kerman. And as always, thank you for your support and love for the children of FUMC. Good morning. My name is Lane Eagleton. I'm a fifth grader at Fairy Farm Elementary School. I've gone to this church my whole life. I went to preschool here, and I participate in Girl Scouts here. The theme for this year's Children's Sabbath is Healing God's First Aid Kit. The verse is, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are the one I praise. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Sometimes we can feel broken down or frustrated, but being with Jesus and God can help us with that. I really like to be early for things, but sometimes my mom stresses me out when we don't leave as early as I want to. We can heal. I can heal myself by... Breathing and remembering that I have a family that cares and loves for me. I can thank Jesus for giving me the opportunity to go to school, Girl Scouts, and dance classes. We can heal ourselves with Jesus when we pray, read the Bible, and lift something off of our chest, or just do something nice to make someone's day. We can recognize when the people around us, our family and close friends, are struggling with something that is weighing on their heart, causing them to have stress or is stressing them out. My friends might worry about keeping up with schoolwork, being on time, and fitting in. We can heal our loved ones by making them feel special, loving them and caring for them in hard times. Sometimes just a smile or a kind word can lift something someone can lift can lift someone up and change how their day is going. Our local community and country as a whole is going through a difficult time right now. We can help the, heal the community by making the environment better and safer, by supporting local businesses, and most importantly, being kind. We can attend church and worship together with our friends and family. We, the world can be scary when we think about being just one small person and there are so many people in so many different countries. We can put ourselves... We can put our best selves into the world by doing random acts of kindness, spreading love, peace, positivity, and making the world a better place. Sharing our faith with others and relying to, on God to get us through the tough and confusing times. I would like to finish by sharing two verses that I think of when things are hard or I feel like I need healing. Psalms chapter 56, verse 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Jeremiah for chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to, pro to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Maddie, and I'm a fifth grader at Falmouth Elementary. God heals me. Sometimes I get really stressed because of my homework from school. It's a lot for me and can make me feel very anxious. When I read the Bible or pray, I feel calm and more capable of finishing things. Sometimes this is what lets me finish my homework in a normal amount of time. God's peace gives me strength to complete my daily tasks. When I'm struggling, God helps me. This special healing help lets me heal other people in this community. My family used to volunteer for the community dinners here at FUMC. The people were so grateful for us to give them food. We were able to help them heal the hunger in their stomachs and make them feel better. It makes me happy to help others just as God helps me. God gives me strength when I'm weak. He gives me peace when I'm worried. He heals my broken heart and allows me to help others heal. Glory goes to God for healing me and letting other people heal. Without God, I am broken, but God saves me and loves me. He heals me and gives me band-aids for my spiritual bumps and bruises. The Lord is my comfort and protects me. He gives me peace and freedom, and his gifts let me help other people. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14 says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. To me, this verse means that God helps us when we are feeling sad or hurt. Helping others is a great way to share Jesus and help other people's spiritual injuries get band-aids from the Lord. Hello, my name is Olivia Kirvin, and I will be telling you what healing means to me. Healing. What healing means to me. Whenever we are sad or hurt, God heals us spiritually. He gives us love and comfort, despite all of our misdoing. Fear of illness, of anger, fear of illness and anger, for having to endure. God does not take his healing away. He shows us that inner turmoil goes with having faith and persistence. He tells us to keep on trying, or in better words, try again. I remember when God helped me heal. My pain was not on the outside like a regular cut or bruise, but a bruise on the inside. I love to play volleyball, so I went to volleyball camp. This was my first time participating in a group activity for a year. The volleyball gym was new to me, and I did not know anyone. I was also shorter than most of the other girls, given that the girls were older than me. I felt nervous and uncertain. I also had trouble doing one of the exercises. I was frustrated. But God helped me through it. I heard the encouraging words of God work through Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, who no man seeks after. I did the exercise until I got better. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 19 states, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. As fellow Christians, we can help others the same way that God helped us heal. We have an opportunity to show kind acts to pull others closer to God. My friend Aaliyah struggled with letting things or other people bother her at school. By me sticking by Aaliyah's side and helping her to see things in a brighter way, she began being more positive. I stuck by Aaliyah's side as God has stuck beside me because I was her friend it was the right thing to do, and I want to see her happy. Jesus is our friend and comfort. Just as God sent Jesus down to the world, I believe the world can be healed by God using regular people. Yes, we are broken ourselves, but we can still fix broken hearts, broken bodies, broken families, broken character with the help, with the help of God's strength and mercy. One small kind act or a nice word or a gesture goes a long way. By working together like helping to plant trees or volunteering or picking up trash alone or a group, God helps us heal. God also uses each unfinished or broken person whose hearts are open to help heal the world the wounds of the world by fixing the broken things one life at a time. 
seen I got love Can't be seen I want to be made Because of his touch My life can be put on display It's truly amazing In your image and actors are made You amaze me, so no, I confess. Today I am blessed. Yes. Mañana también. Yeah. Me siento muy bien. Yeah. The good vibes fell once again and again. Today I am blessed. Okay, okay. Mañana también. Mañana también. Me siento muy bien. Me siento muy The good vibes fell yeah. once again yeah. and again. Oh. So many wonders. I am a treasure you made. The plans that you paid. Stand and look at me. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it's our time to come to the Lord's table now for the celebration of Holy Communion. If you've decided to partake in communion with us in our online service, it's time to go ahead and take out your elements of bread, crackers, juice, and have them ready. If you are not participating in online communion, we invite you to make this a prayerful time to join in our time of prayers with us. Let us go to God now. Lord, because you have blessed us with children and have given your own child, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, to reveal the fullness of your love and mercy, we come and offer our thanks. Let us pray. Lord, we give thanks and praise to you who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in, within them who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. You watch over the strangers, uphold the children and the most vulnerable, and have triumphed over sin and evil. On this children's Sabbath, Lord, we give you thanks, especially for the children, for the blessing they are and the blessing that we can be to them as we seek to heed your prophets and do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you. And so we join in proclaiming your glory this day, saying, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord and Hosanna in the highest. We praise you, O oh God, for sending your beloved child, Jesus, born as a baby nurtured by his family and protected by strangers. He grew up as a child who was taught in his temple, surrounded by his community and guided by his parents, who became an adult who loved and blessed the children, who cared for those who were sick and poor and who were left out, who taught that God loves us like a parent and who has called us to be his friends. This is the one who was born a baby needing us, and who died, Lord, as a Savior of whom we all need, triumphant over death, freeing us to live as your beloved children. And so we remember him as we come to table, that on the night in which he gave himself up for us, 
He took bread and he offered it to the disciples gathered there saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this as often as you do it in remembrance of me. And remember on that same night that he took cup and he offered it to those gathered there before he faced the cross. He said, take and drink of this all of you. For this is the cup of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Drink of this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Lord, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves today as your children, a community of the people of God, offering ourselves to Be open to the work of your Spirit as you pour your Spirit down upon us and down upon the gifts before us of bread and juice. Make them be for us, Lord, the true body and blood of Jesus, that we would be your redeemed children, part of your holy family, ministering to heal the hurts of the world around us until we come together at your heavenly table. And when your light perpetual will shine upon all people of all nations, ages, and races. Until that day, Lord, and forevermore, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are always very bold to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Though we are many, the people of God, the children of God, we are made one in the body of Christ. And it was his body that was broken for all of us. This is the body of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. And though our sins are many, they are all forgiven in the cup of salvation. This is the blood of Christ given for us. Thanks be to God. Amen. If you are partaking of communion with us, I invite you now to receive the gifts, to take the bread, to take your cracker and receive it as the body of Christ given for you, and to take the cup, the juice before you, and to receive it as the blood of Christ shed just for you. Thanks be to God. As you're sharing these gifts among one another, a round table at home. Let us pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for your restoration of us, for nourishing us with spiritual food in the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. And we ask, Lord, now as we are ready in ourselves to rise from table, to help us to go forth as your people, forgiven, healed, renewed, and restored, that we may proclaim your love to the world around us as we serve the children and as we serve also with the children and we continue in the life of the risen one who leads us. And that is your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we invite you now to take those elements and just treat them reverently as we continue to worship God. Amen.
go forth confident in the knowledge of God's constant love for you. Be assured of the healing touch of Jesus upon you. Go forth reminded of the healing work of our Savior and feeling empowered to be a healer to those around us. Go forth and go forth filled with the peace of the Holy Spirit on this children's Sabbath, Sabbath day and even and evermore. Amen.